open permit. That, this is something that happens very often here in Toronto. People start, um, they have a great idea to have an addition, to change something in the house. They run out of money, they got a bad experience with contractors, they are stuck in the middle of the project, and they cannot finish the, 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 the permit, right? They cannot close the permit. So it's really hard to sell a house with an open permit because you never know what's going on with that permit. You don't know if it's good, you're gonna spend 10,000 or 50,000 closing that permit, right? And uh, getting an inspector to close a permit in here in Toronto, it gets really tricky. So that's something else that we, uh, actually one of our first deals was a house. Um, the guy just started doing an addition in, their house, in, in his house. He had no idea he needed to have a permit from the city. And uh, an inspector just walking in like, you cannot do that. You have to tear everything down. You have to demolish that part and actually fix the house. And he was already having like an extra second uh, floor. So pretty much he had to, like he didn't, honestly, he didn't know he needed a permit from the city. That guy was very, very naive. Uh, so we worked with him. It was actually five months of negotiation, but another three months for closing the house. He had uh, uh, two buildings and almost 20 tenants inside. So it was near to impossible to get everybody placed in a different uh, house, demolishing everything before the city, put a fine on it, and trying to close when the, with the approval of the inspector after everything was uh, demolished. 